Blockchain Technology Labs in Athens have been funded by IOHK since 2016. My current research interest is in uh, analyzing blockchain protocols. Uh, our initial interest in this, uh, in this field uh, was uh, formalizing the relationship between uh, the consensus problem, which is a fundamental problem in computer science, and uh, Bitcoin's blockchain data structure. Um, so, in, a, in an intuitive level, uh, any decentralized cryptocurrency should solve this problem uh, because uh, uh, the users of a cryptocurrency should somehow agree on what transactions have been made. And the uh, consensus problem is, uh, is just that. So, the statement of the problem is as follows. You have a bunch of people, each of them has a private input, and after communicating, they want to agree uh, on uh, somebody's input. Uh, but among them, uh, some of the parties could be dishonest and they're trying to preclude this uh, agreement. So there was this intuition that uh, decentralized cryptocurrencies somehow solve this problem. And our uh, interest was in formalizing this, uh, giving a formal argument that Bitcoin, for example, uh, actually uh, solves consensus. I am a part um, of a research group who are working on the um, design and implementation um, of a blockchain-based public key infrastructure. Uh, so public key uh, infrastructure um, uh, are, um, play a central role uh, in communications uh, through internet, for example, in internet banking. And uh, we, we think it, will be, it would be very interesting to provide a decentralized uh, approach to this problem. Uh, in particular, um, we have uh, a novel approach ba based on smart uh, contract infrastructure um, to deliver a solution uh, to the PKI problem. I'm working on a European uh, project called My Health, My Data in which the patient has the ability uh, to have total control over the data uh, with the use of blockchain and smart contracts. So patients have uh, even the right to, to be forgotten or to say individually which uh, kind of data uh, she or he will uh, share and uh, want to share. So this process uh, gives a trust to the end user that uh, his data or her data actually uh, are encrypted and the privacy is kept. So I think uh, providing uh, formal proofs and uh, proving uh, and giving formal arguments, mathematical arguments about uh, properties of, uh, of uh, algorithms and protocols that are being actually used in, uh, in real life is uh, and uh, bridging this way the, the practice with theory is something that, uh, that needs more work nowadays. And especially with uh, protocols such as uh, cryptocurrencies that are used by many people and uh, have important applications, uh, it is important to have uh, some, uh, some theoretical uh, work to, to, back, uh, to back up their, uh, the claims about their security. I think that uh, blockchain technology is uh, still in its infancy and uh, in the future uh, the blockchain lab in Athens will have to expand and, uh, and have more people working to fulfill the needs of this uh, emerging technology. I think uh, this kind of technology will have a very great impact on society uh, because uh, uh, both uh, the users and the researchers who have the ability to have access to this huge amount of data without compromising security and privacy. There are a lot of interesting things that are uh, going on in this area. There is a very um, active community of researchers and engineers uh, uh, working uh, on this uh, field. I would uh, definitely wanted to learn more and be part uh, of it uh, in the future.
I think that um, blockchain technologies in the near future will um, have a great social impact uh, worldwide and I also think that Athens can only be part of it.